Hey guys, Mr. Idol Hack here back with another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing a radio for you, which is going to go in the Polo, which is Zunet's car. So thank you Zunet for allowing me to record this video and providing me the items. So this costs £60, it's a radio and you get a, a reverse camera with it. So for £60 that's not a bad deal because you also get Apple CarPlay on this system. So how Apple CarPlay works is you plug it in with your USB. And it'll use your phone as a thingy and you got your maps there then. Your Spotify, whatever you want to use on your phone. is on your screen basically. So yeah. It's a very light package actually. But for £60 it's not bad. There was no reviews on it but there was a 9 sold. So, I think it's not too bad. And anyways you got eBay's guarantee anyway. It's a Chinese brand. Non, it's like a generic brand. Let's see if I can even open it with one hand. I'll have to pause it for a second. Alright, so it comes in a generic box as well, like there's no writing, nothing. Hopefully he's not been scammed. Let's see. Let's see. There should be a radio in here. Feels very light though. That's the only issue. Can't even open this damn box. Oh there you go. Oh no, it is in there. It's extremely light though. Like oh there you go. There's the car MP5 player. Come on you bloody bloody There's the wiring Yep, so we're gonna have to do some wiring on that That's totally, that's totally the downside I guess Of these cheap ones, you have to wire them yourself Okay It's been packaged alright, so Oh yeah, that is very light Oh wow, that looks pretty nice For the price, this is actually looks alright it's all about the reliability, if it's reliable or not. Let me just uh, take this package off one second, guys. Alright, guys. Do the... Nothing better than taking that off. Look how beautiful that screen is. So this is a 7-inch screen. On the listing, it says full HD, but then it says the resolution is 1080p by 600 and something. So it's not... It's not 1080p. It's not HD, it's not even normal HD, which is 720p. So it's got a, you can use infrared. It's got USB port built in, that'll be for charging and uh, connecting to Apple CarPlay, your aux in the SD card. These are touchscreen buttons, by the way, guys. Power button, you got the mic, and you got reset button, I think it is, yep. Okay, this side has nothing on there. So this is a double DIN, so double DIN is just, it's a standard connection, it's the big one. You got single DIN which is like a radio, like a tiny radio, you know the normal ones. Uh, this is a double DIN, that's the two sizes in car stereos, there's no other sizes really. Okay, so you got all the inputs and outputs at the back. So these are for video out I think, yeah, camera in. Yeah, so you got your videos and stuff, you got your audios left out to right out so that's your audio so oh so they do give you a remote so you got a remote with it and these are your wires so with these wires oh, let me take it off actually guys you got fuse in there as well let me take this out give me one second guys all right so you got a remote here i'm not going to take out this packaging because i'm going to put it back in so with this you can actually you can actually use it for calling and stuff i think i don't know because you got numbers Okay, and these are your wires, they go into the back of here. This way, I mean. Oh yeah. So this will only fit the bottom one, that they made it so, it's, so you can't mess it up. Because that connector is at the bottom, that's in the middle, can you see? So that will only fit in the bottom one. So as you can see, that's the only issue is you have to wire it. So each one, and I don't think they gave a diagram, did they? Nope, they didn't. So... Gonna have to figure it out unless it's in the operating manual. Let's have a look. Okay, seven inch screen. Nope, nope, nope. So you can watch a video on here. It's got audio playback as well of MP3 and stuff, which is normal. And the max amplifier is 45 watts times a four, which should be okay because I don't think the regular speakers are 45 watts anyway. Remote control, power off with auto. Da, okay, Bluetooth, bass and treble, aux in. Rear view camera, video input as well, so I can plug in a... I'm plugging a PS2 if I want, pretty much. But you just need a power source for that. 
Okay, so we've got all the buttons there on this old touch screen. The interface on here doesn't look too bad. So we will be installing this soon. soon. I'm not exactly sure when, but very soon. So what we have bought, because we do need it, is a wiring kit. So this is for Polo's Volkswagens. So as you can see, Volkswagen Golf Mark 502 should, it says it's compatible with the Polo. So yeah, this is from Connex2. So Connex2 is the one that I told you to get in my reverse camera. That's the only brand that will work properly on the reverse camera as well on my car. So yeah, as you can see, you got all the wiring there. So that's the connector you need up there. That goes into the back of your existing wires for the Polo. And then this side goes into this stuff, as you can see. Wait a minute. You might not even need to wire it. I don't know, actually. Because all the wiring looks like it's already done. Let me have a look, guys. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. So, it's just gone from a hard job of wiring everything individually to... It's already done, guys. It's literally plug and play now. As long as you buy this kit, I think it was a £15 or £10. Something like that. And then, I think the red wire is just for power. So we're just going to have to find the power for that. And then orange will probably be ground. I'll have to double check everything. There'll be somewhere, some manual somewhere. I don't think this has a wiring diagram. Oh, uh, yes it does actually. Actually, no. It doesn't have the numbers though. It doesn't have the colours, nothing. It's a very bad diagram, but we'll figure it out. Oh, there you go guys. Yeah, it's still not, it's still not very good, but yeah. That's just showing you how to set up the reverse camera. We'll have a look at the reverse camera. But yeah, this is definitely something you need, this wiring kit. So this end goes to your existing polo thing. So that's you need something anyway to connect that up. Otherwise, you're going to have to do every single... You have to connect each wire to the other wires of the polo's connector. Which is uh, even worse than wiring it like this. So yeah, this has already done half the trouble for you. You just need to connect these two wires up and then attach the reverse camera as well. Which is just simply there. I'm going to get the reverse camera now, so make sure if you are going to buy one of these Chinese radios or whatever and put it into a Volkswagen car, you get the Volkswagen adapter, otherwise it's going to be a bollock to do if you can do it yourself, if you don't have any knowledge. For me, I don't have, uh, I have basic knowledge. Like I could probably do it, it'll take me hours and I'll mess up a few times, but it's doable. But why do all this when you could just buy a kit? It's already done for you, just plug and play and just connect two wires up for the power on the ground. You know what I mean? Okay guys, so let me open up the reverse camera for you and then we'll have a look. Okay, right, so we're going to be installing this as well. So this will be going on top of, oh, we might have to actually make some holes for that into the bumper or something. Uh, unless there's some existing bolts somewhere, we'll try to see what we can do. We've got two yellow wires there, which will go into these, I guess. One will be video in, camera and probably the CVBN. Yeah, probably that one. And then you got the power as well, so we're going to have to tap some power from somewhere. But it should be doable if not. If not, we'll just uh, figure it out, I guess. But yeah, the wire looks very long. The camera is a normal, just a reverse camera with the LEDs on, so at night time you'll be able to see. So yeah, it's a very good kit. For £60, it's okay. As long as it's reliable and doesn't break, all should be alright. Um, oh, oh, there is a way to put GPS in, but they didn't give us the GPS antenna. Hmm, huh. I'll have to check on that, guys. If they were meant to pay, give us it for free because I'm pretty sure it's included, but well, it's obviously not been included. So, unless it's in here, let me have a look. Uh, no, guys, they're not giving us a GPS one, but that's okay, guys. We'll just complain and uh, get one, I guess. Unless it's not included, but I'm pretty sure it said in the listing that it was included. But for £60, I guess this this two things alone is not too bad for the, what it is. As long as it 100% has... Oh, wait. There was a wiring diagram there, I think. But it doesn't have any colours. God damn it. But yeah, we'll try to figure it out anyway. But yeah... Yeah, we'll have a look. So yeah, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Zunet, for letting me unbox this for you. And uh, we'll be making an installation video soon, so stay tuned for that. See you guys next time. Goodbye.